Hey y'all, welcome back to Flat Tire Farm. Let me show you what I'm up to this morning. It was a beautiful morning this morning. Pretty cold though, we got down to seven degrees. So I think whether I like it or not, there's no denying that winter has arrived and we gotta get ready for it. I know we've been putting up our water pump and emptying out rain barrels and whatnot. But the other thing I need to take care of is these solar panels. Now during the summer, these solar panels, because I haven't built the permanent uh, uh, array um, structure, if you will, the solar panels will sit on the ground and they'll lean back. And I'm shooting for about a 60 degree angle because of our sun angle. Uh, good rule of thumb, take your latitude-ish and that should be about your uh, the angle of your solar panels. Now during the, now that's for during um, summer and winter, it'll give you a good average. For us, it's so different that uh, during the winter, I'll hang these solar panels up on the wall and uh, get them just barely angled off of the vertical here. And uh, we'll capture the sun far better than we will if I leave them on the ground at an angle. I'm back out here in front of the solar panels. Obviously it's a different day. We've got snow on the ground and all kinds of good stuff. But I'm here because pretty much Miss Crystal says I need to explain myself better. So sun angle, why is sun angle important? When you have a solar system, you want the angle of the sun hitting it to be as close to perpendicular or dead on as you can be. Now, if you're close to the equator, the sun is always mostly shining straight down. Winter, summer, all of it. Now, the further you get away from the equator, the bigger difference there is between the summer and the winter on what angle the sun sits at in the sky. So most of the time you take whatever your latitude is, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, whatever, set your solar panels at that angle and you should be good all year round. But when you get far enough from the equator, like up here in where we are, up here, it's almost 62 degrees north latitude. So the difference between the angle of the sun in the summer, which is almost perfectly overhead, and the winter, which is right barely clearing the trees, makes a big difference on your solar panel performance. So that's why we want to use different angles in the summer versus the winter for our solar panels. And on top of that, right up above here is where the snow will shed off the edge of the roof here and it comes, lands right over here, actually destroys a bunch of my old wood boxes that were right there um, and becomes packed full of ice chunks and really compacted snow and I have to dig all that out in order for the sun to be able to hit the solar panels. So I've got one more thing that I need to do with these solar panels. I have to put the blocks on the bottom in order to get the bottoms tipped out just a little bit and uh, get them facing the uh, facing the sun a little bit better. So even now, it's uh, late October. The sun is already pretty low, getting close to midday. And so the sun's not really gonna get much higher than it is. So I'll put the blocks on the bottom here, uh, get the bottoms angled out just a little bit. I'm gonna screw them in place so that they don't fall out. And then, uh, we'll scoot down to the basement and we'll see how we're doing. Before I got them up on the wall this morning, they were making uh, just on just about 200 watts. We're gonna make a little L out of some one by and we'll screw that to the house itself and let the solar panel rest on it. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take, I've got a little piece of one by two screwed to a piece of one by four. The one by two will get screwed up to the house, just like that. And then the solar panel will, uh, will rest on it. All right, let's go get these things up on the wall. I think if I lean my ladder up against there, I might not fall over. Let's find out. I think for the other side, I'll just 
reach out sideways and get it as close to the center as I can. Alright y'all, I'm going to pick up a couple of these tools and we'll scoot on down to the basement and see what it's looking like on the uh, charge controller, see how much power we're making. Alright, so here you have it y'all, this is our charge controller. And let me get the glare off of it. You can see that our the power that we're putting in right here is 8, 0.860 kilowatts or 860 watts. And this morning we were looking at about 200 watts, so... That is fantastic. So thank you all for joining us on the homestead. We'll see you next time.